Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to start with uh, unit number two, basics of design, that is design fundamentals. So, in which we go with basics. What is the meaning of design? So, design is nothing but specifying the specification of the product, and that specification involves dimensions, material, mechanical property, manufacturing, in detail, everything. So, to reach up to the point of specification, what are the different steps that needs to be followed? that we are going to discuss in this lecture so first step of any design project or design process is there should be the need of that particular problem so we should identify need of the problem and to explain this whole design steps we will be just focusing on one simple example of designing of seat that is a car seat or if it is to be specific of designing of driver seat for car or maybe for truck we'll take a heavy duty vehicle so we'll in the comparison of design of a seat that is a chair you can consider what are the different parameters needs to be considered from a basic fundamental instead of going with the technical example we'll be dealing with simple example so first let us say i need to design a chair or the seat for a truck or a tractor driver seat so in that what factor i need to consider so always first step will be the definition of problem you should define the problem where exactly it is going to be applicable so when the first step of design is after identifying the need of the problem you should define and definition of problem includes preparation of a complete list of product which first prime requirement to satisfy the functional requirement of the object or that is particular application so which consists of the service life and all other factors for particular material so of course defining the problem is a first step for example i am designing the seat car driver seat so i will just define what should be the dimension for that seat or what should be the application let us say the age or the weight of the person is ranging from 40 kg to 100 kg so for that range i need to specify the materials so next step will be after defining the problem i'll just go with second step which is very important called as synthesis synthesis is the process of selecting creating a mechanism for machine and the shapes of mechanical element so once i define the problem then i need to select a mechanism which will satisfy the functional requirement means basically which will complete the desired output in given input which we are going to specify in the problem definitions means what i will do if i need to design that particular seat i will select the what should be the shape of that particular chair for a car driver seat that is i can say the mechanism as synthesis next step will be analysis of forces once I know the problem is specified, I know which type of mechanism I am selecting, then I need to analyze which kind of forces acts on that part. Means if the person sitting on a chair is 100 kg and it is subjected to static load or dynamic load. So by considering all other factors, this steps is very important called as analysis of forces where actual every element or every part of that machine or machine elements are analyzed with the different types of forces and how it reacts to that forces so as example there are enormous forces may add centrifugal force frictional force static force like this so that depends on application the next step will be selection of material once i know and once i done with the analysis of particular mechanism then I need to know which material I can select for particular mechanism and for particular forces. So selection of material is a very crucial and very important step where I need to consider this four factor as important one. Availability, cost of the material, mechanical property and manufacturing considerations. Because manufacturing consideration as well as mechanical property decides in turn the cost of the material. So while selecting the material in the design, we need to consider this four factor as prime importance. Next step will be determination of mode of failure. 
once I know the material analysis of forces if I done with it then I should know how that component how that chair will fail at what condition so that I need to design in the design steps so there are different types of failure may occur which as elastic deflection maybe by fracture so you may surprise but in design step we also decide or we define at what condition that chair or that particular component will fail so the determination of mode of failure we need to take consideration this factor after selecting the material then once you know the material then we go with factor of safety I know material I know which type of failure may take place so I need to consider factor of safety that means actual load which acts on the component and the design load for example the chair is we designed for 200 Newton force or 200 kg force then actual load may be less than this which we consider as safety that is component won't fail in operating condition that is called as factor of safety next next step will be finding out the dimensions once you know mode of failure materials in the last almost the last phase of the design will be finding out the dimension so by considering the tensile strength deflection failure criteria we find out the dimension of material so we need to consider many factor in the design step like this as mentioned deflection perm permissible allowable ranges of stresses we select the dimension and accordingly we go with last step of the design which is preparation of a drawing that means once I know the I have done with the finalizing the dimensions of that particular chair or any machine component then that final drawing is made which consists of manufacturing process materials detailed dimensioning that means uh, front view top view of that particular machine component as well as assembly and the detailed parts so that we call as preparation of drawing which consists of detailed part list and dimension of every object as well as assembly and manufacturing processes for that component so this is the sequence of design steps once you are done with the dimensions and the design drawing finally we submit that report including drawing manufacturing process materials at the last and that is technically called as preparation of design report of course that consists of all the steps which we followed for the previous all nine steps so in short design of that particular chair car driver seat it includes defining the problem till the last up till the drawing of every element which is like complete design of car seat so we consider everything like total load acts on the chair whether which types of forces acts that is analysis of forces then we select the material material may be in a steel range like a medium carbon steel or low carbon steel we consider the cost of that particular application then we find out its actual dimension failure criteria and the last once we are done with analysis synthesis the last we find out dimension and then we draw on this paper to identify or to assemble the component so drawing is the last step and then we prepare the design report I hope this is a very simple and basic topic on the design as a basic fundamental hope you understood thank you